What's going on guys, Corey Brothers here for another video and uh, today we're gonna be changing the supercharger tensioner pulley on our E55. Yeah, buddy. As you can probably tell, we made a video. Uh, did we even make a video of it? Yeah, we, about it being broke. Yeah, we made a video. So. But yeah. you, know, like, you guys know we're selling it, so we gotta fix it, right? Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> no, but, but anyways, yeah, we're gonna be going ahead and we're gonna replace that today because the car, we can't really drive anywhere. We've been sitting in the garage for a And uh, I don't think there's really any uh, YouTube videos on it, how to do it. So no. we're gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step in case yours is broken. We've never done it before, so hopefully we can figure it out. But if not, hey, we'll fail together. So, yeah, so we're gonna do it right now. Hey, Matt, why don't, you, why don't you show them some parts we got? I'm gonna show you the parts you got. All right, I'm gonna go to another clip right now. All right, Matt, go and show them what we got, what kind of parts we got. Don't don't, don't plug the, the website, though. Huh? Huh? <laughs> All right, let me, let me cover these up. Let me, show you, let me show you guys what we got over here. Let's see what we got. All right, let's see here. Cover this up, we got some information on here. So, let me tell you what we got real fast. We got the tensioner, which is 220 bucks. We got the serpentine belt and we got the alternator belt well actually it says accessory belt and alternator belt but it's really it's a supercharger belt and uh serpentine we belt. look like bums right now but good thing we're working on car hey we're already bucking up dirty i ain't trying to dress up in armani <laughs> or any of that fancy stuff but anyways yeah all together we spent what 220 22 and 23 so 200 and what 50 some dollars something like that don't even 250 i can do math on top of my head that's why i'm gonna be an accountant but uh <laughs> so let me show you guys what we're working with over here set that right there Here's the two belts, we got them both from uh, FCP, you already saw it. Um, here they are right here. Continental makes them, hopefully they're pretty good well, ones. Show them. I'm looking at you, I should show them. Yeah, my face is ugly, they don't wanna see my face. It's not why they're subscribed, but there they are right there. And here is the supercharger tensioner. I'm gonna take out the box here. I'm gonna show them. Bilstein makes this baby. Phoebe, Phoebe? I'm not pronouncing that right, I guarantee I'm screwing it up. Let me show you guys what it looks like right here. So. Here it is, and ours, a little side action. well show, show them ours right now, what's going on over here. I got a mess right now. So here, well, I gotta take the belt off first, yeah, but it's that, all wobbly. That broke. But anyways, here's the new one, super smooth, no play in it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. And uh, I say we show them, I'll take this belt off next, what do you think? Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's gotta do it. Now, first things first, obviously you're gonna have to take this cover off the front of the engine, which is super easy to do. I didn't show you that because really, I mean honestly, if you can't get that off, then you probably shouldn't be doing this job. But first thing first, you have to take the supercharger belt off. And to do that is, yeah, you point to you right there. Yeah, right there. I'm sure they know it. Um, there's a little thing here, and you put this 17 millimeter wrench right here and pull on it, and it's gonna lo uh, loose up the tension on it. That way you can squeeze this belt off. And just take off the pulleys, and there, there it is right there. So there's step one. That wasn't too bad. Not bad. All right, so this is the next step here. It looks like there's four screws that have to come out. There's these two right here, which aren't connected to anything. It looks like they're just holding this bracket in place. I'll find out here in a second. And then there's a screw right here behind the pulley. Go ahead and scan in on that so I can see that. Right by my finger. And to get that out, you're gonna have to pry the pull. I mean, you have to use your uh, 17 millimeter wrench, just like this, and pull the pulley back. And you can actually slide a little pin in this little groove right here, which is gonna go all the way through and lock it in place. That way you can reach the one that's ba that's right back there because if not, this pulley will be right in, the, right in this way and you'll never get to it. And then there's one more, it's located right behind the belt. I don't know if you can see it down in there, but it's right back there by my finger. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a little life hack here. We're gonna use one of these little um, Allen wrenches right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back on this tensioner and I'm gonna slide it right in where that groove is, all the way through. And to unlock the tensioner in place, so you have access to that bolt that's right on the back side. So you can go over and show them now, you'll be able to see it. It's right, well it's kind of hard to see, but it's right, no, uh, you can't even see it. It's, right so it's really right there, you'll see it. It's not too, not too hard to get to now. I think I think the easy way to do it is to take maybe the maybe to pull see, it off. This fan is in a way, sort of, but like in this pulley, I mean, there's not really a whole lot of room to work here. But uh, I don't want to take anything else off. That I don't have to just because you know we're not experts when it comes to this. So uh, we're just gonna make it work. And I got this screw almost out, so a little tight, but we'll make it work. All right, so I got both of those screws out. Now that my hands are all cut up, it should just pop right out and. There it is. So let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what's going on over here. If you don't watch our other video, you can tell there's all kinds of play in there and it's screeching really bad. And um, I'll, put Metal. I'll put a clip in now so you guys can hear it. Mm -hmm. 
But uh, yeah, metal on metal it, action. It's probably metal on metal. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else is going on over here, but all I know is that this w uh, wobbles and uh, it's time to put the new one on, Nick. What do you think? I think we should it's do it. Time to put the new one on? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Take a look at here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, that belt's got all kind of crap on you to clean it off. Well, we're gonna replace it too, but well, I'm gonna clean it off when we're done. But here's the thing. If you guys didn't watch our other video, or maybe you did, you know that the oil f um, filter assembly thing over here housing, it's leaking, and I noticed that it's actually dripping on that one of the pulleys down there and on the belt. So I figured we'll get that fixed, and then afterwards we'll put the new belt on that we don't have any gunk or nothing on it. But I mean, if you look at that pulley there, look at that pulley, all the garbage on it. Look, yeah, was... there's a lot of stuff on there. I might have to clean that off or something, but I don't know. It's got to put this new piece on, see if it works. All right, so just for a comparison, we're going to go ahead and show you this. Uh, new tensioner as you can tell super smooth and there's no play in it at all. So looks like uh, it's made in Germany It's good stuff. Actually, it is in German company, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this on now and um, Let's go and line this up real fast and there's the pin look it comes with one already locked in place That way you don't have to worry about fighting it trying to get that uh, opening for the other screw But go ahead and slide this in here and I'll probably have to move the light too because I can't really see anything All right, so just in case you guys are wondering these are what the screws look like that are holding the tensioner on from the back side where I couldn't really show you. Um, these are the star points uh, tips. And what, let me see what size we're using so I can tell you guys. We're using, I can't even find it. There it is, T45, Torx 45. So that's what that is. And the other one that I used to get the smaller ones off was a, where is it, E10. So. And these are from Harbor Freight, in case you guys are wondering. That's a Pittsburgh special right there. Pittsburgh special. All right, guys, so uh, it was tight putting it, uh, I mean, taking it off, and uh, as you'd guess, it's tight putting it on, but you know what? There's like no room to work in there. We're gonna make it work. Well, you know, you know, you know what most people would do, and probably what the dealership does too is, probably take this they'll, they'll be like, yeah, this is gonna take about 25 to 30 hours worth of work because they'll take the whole front off part and make it real easy to do, but guess what? Yeah, you don't gotta take, do all that. We'll take the bumper off. And we're gonna and show you guys. It. Yeah, we're gonna show you guys why you don't have to do all that because all it takes is a little bit of a little bit elbow grease and maybe some couple cuts on the hand. And if a you cameraman, want, that's my goal. And a cameraman, but if you want, which probably makes a lot of sense, which I didn't do, put some gloves on it where your hands don't get real dirty. But uh, yeah, I, no gloves for me, and I don't really care about using gloves all the time, so I'll just get dirty. No big deal for me. You mean you're not a germaphobe? Nope. All right, guys, so we have all four of the screws back on. These two here, and then the one underneath it on the back. Nice and snug. I think it's tight enough. You have to be careful because this is aluminum. You don't want to, like, strip the bolts. So that's tight, and that means now it's time to put this uh, supercharger belt back on. Let me give me some light over here, Matt. Yeah, give me some light so I can see what I'm going that what we doing down here. Yeah. I have big hands. I don't think I can be able to do this kind of work. Oh, I'm sure you can. You're not the only person out there with big hands. Yeah, but they're mixed between like tiny thick wrist and fat. Huh? Is that, is that you? <laughs> yeah. All right, make sure this all lines up. See, this is perfectly on there now. Look, before the belt was like hanging off because there's, it was broken. I reach that looks nice, sure. pretty, like, nice and black like that. I make sure the belt and the bottom is lined up pretty good. It's really tight in there, Make sure all of them are on real good. I'm cutting up my arms in here. Look at this, cutting everything up. I'll send you the invoice when I'm done, Nick. Huh? I work for 150 an hour. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, you look at me, you can't eat. You can't even talk about breaking a car, but send you a bill for that grill. I work, I work for 150 an hour, and uh, this only took us about 20 minutes. But I'm gonna go ahead and quote. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you it took me 10 hours. So uh, got a nice check coming my way. Yeah, and I, I charge about a thousand dollars an hour for the video work. A oh, deal? Yeah. How we work out a deal and like we just even it out. So like I did the work, you record, and kind of like. And know, then you do the editing. We're even. Is that, does that sound like a good deal? Yeah, I like that idea. All right, fair. Let's shake on it. Huh? Let's shake on it. <laughs> All right. So it both like it's lined up, and now it's time to take this pin out and reach the tension. How should it look? Eh, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna inspect it real fast before we start it up or anything, but we go ahead and inspect it, make sure my hands are really dirty, but I don't really want to touch the belt, but like Matt said at the beginning of the video, we haven't done the super uh, the serpentine belt yet because we want to get that other one, the oil cleaned up off of it. Yeah, check the bottom one, everything feels good. Belt feels pretty snug. Let me go ahead and grab that light real fast, Nick. Take a look at this. You can see, I don't know if they can see in there, but down on the bottom, you can see where it's all wet on that drip tray. Put the camera way down in there. Can they see that? No, put the camera more this way. Angle it down more, like straight down. It's more. You can see it's it's like 
real wet down there. And I cleaned it like twice already. So that's how I know it's still leaking, but. Yeah, this this filter. looks like it's 100%, Nick. Yeah, it's hopefully it starts. 100%, so we're gonna give it a test start. We're gonna do a cold start, it's been and, over a week. Uh, let's hope it works, because uh, I don't wanna break anything else, so we'll go ahead and start it up, give it a cold start, and see how it goes. All right, go ahead and start it up, Nick. Nice and quiet again. I don't want to get too close in case that belt flies off, hits me in the face. I'm already ugly enough. Yeah, we're not professionals. We ain't professionals. Backing it out. Man, I tell you, that sounds really quiet. Jeez. It sounds quieter than normal. Them lights turned on, those broken headlights. The automatic adjustments and them um, don't work, but hey, you know what? We just ordered some new uh, LED lights for these two parking lights in the front because right now they're just a stock halogen bulbs and they're ugly. So we're gonna update those and give the car a nice refreshed look in the front, but sounds pretty quiet, so we're gonna have to go take it for a test drive and see how it is. All right, so Matt's driving the car right now. Yeah, uh, so far, uh, so far, good. I mean, we only drove it out of the driveway, but house. going easy on it. Make sure everything runs good. Check engine lights on because the secondary uh, air pump, air injection pump thing is not working. But um, I don't think we actually need that to, uh, you know, the car still runs fine. I think basically what it does, if I'm correct, is when you first start the car, when it's a cold start for like the first, I think, 30 seconds or something, the pump's going to run and pump, you know, uh, fresh air into the catalytic converter so they're warm and they're running more efficient. But our, uh, our catalytic converters, the second, I mean, the secondary are gone and the primaries don't actually work. They're inefficient according to the codes. So um, there's no reason to have it. There's no reason to fix it. It's gonna cost a lot of money probably maybe, to fix it, but maybe we'll fix it. Actually, down I road. know the the one somebody has a video. I watched it on AMG YouTube. Meister. Yeah, he has a video on YouTube on how to replace that. It doesn't look too bad. Or no, I, he, he just fixed it in his video, and it looked like it was not too bad to do. But um, we're not worried about it right now. We're gonna you know make sure everything else is good, and then maybe we'll get that down the road. But go ahead and show him what's going on over here, Nick. Put the gauges and stuff. Almost 407,000 miles. 406,880. We probably would have been at 407,500 if it didn't break. Yeah, but you know. We did a lot of driving this week. The whole week. We we did about, what, 250 some miles of driving this past week, maybe 300 miles. More than that. So we definitely would have been over 407, but you know, because the car's out of commission, we couldn't really do it. But um, yeah, we'll just have to make up for it this week, Nick. Yeah. The car drives pretty smooth. It sounds smooth. Yeah, it runs smooth. No more hard pulls, that's for sure. At least not for a while. Enough for a while. All right, Nick, go ahead and close it out. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Uh, we took the car for like a 10 mile drive. Uh, it ran pretty fine. Yeah. Boy, my eyes are all watery too. Yeah, man. It ran good. Are uh, hopefully, you know, the bolts are comes loose, but we're going to check it, you know, periodically, make sure nothing comes loose because just to be safe. Um, what else? Sounds good. Runs good. Yeah, it runs smooth. Uh, if you guys, uh, you know, you got to place it on your car, now you know how to do it because I don't think really need to I don't know. I don't really know how much. Really no, there's no videos on how to do this. At least yeah, and it took us saw. about. It took us about not even 30 minutes. No, not, not even. even. Really and, easy to do. And we had we have never done anything like this before. Yeah. And it took 30 minutes. So if you know what you're doing, this is like a 10, 15 minute job. Yeah, and, and it, you know if you're gonna change that supercharger belt, it's a good time to uh, change the serpentine belt. You know, especially considering they're only 20 some dollars from FCP Euro. Um, but like I said, we're not changing ours yet because we have that oil leak. I don't want to drip yeah. oil on the new belt. So we're gonna go ahead and hold off on that, but uh, yeah, that's that's how you do, it, guys. It was really, really easy. Not to bad. Do. I don't. We don't really know how much this uh, this saved us because we don't know how much. We didn't even ask the dealer. We just we ordered. Can, it. We can te uh, text our technician tomorrow. Um, yeah. See how much. At our local Mercedes dealership, and I will ask him what it costs up there. So uh, we'll put. If, if I find out, I'll put that right here in the video. If not, somebody in the comments let us know what it costs. If anyone has, has had this done on their E55, please put it down in the comments let us know how much you paid. Yeah, I'm curious to see, because I think most deer ships are they're always a little bit different, but you know. I saw somewhere on a forum, no, it wasn't a forum, it was on a YouTube video, on somebody, it was an E500, I think yeah. it was a $900, I could be wrong. Well, obviously that wasn't for the supercharger, that was for the Yeah, it was the, the, the regular Super Teen, it was just, but you know, yeah. same thing. Yeah, yeah, they're both tensioners, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so. Uh, hopefully, yeah, yeah, hopefully this video, anybody out there with the M113K engine, hopefully this is a, uh, you know, helps helpful, you guys out. Yeah, because yeah, this is very easy. Like I said, we're not, yeah. we don't know how to do anything on cars. We know we'll cars, learn. but we don't know how to work on them. So yeah, and we pick, we pick the hardest car to learn on. You know, most people pick yeah. like a Honda or something to start practicing on. But hey, start from the hardest over here, and you know, Hondas will be a piece of cake to work yeah. on. So but, if you, uh, if, yeah, so if if we can do it, you can do it, and hopefully this video helps you. But yeah, so uh, until next time, uh, 
you know, follow us on Instagram, yeah, Matt Forty like Brothers. Give us a, you know, give us a like, negative comments on somebody else's channel, <laughs> yeah. and uh, subscribe. All Until right. then, take care. See you guys.